Well, we know he loves his tomatoes, and now he's going to teach us how to make a blistered tomato pasta. Also, I got a shirt. Yes, you did. You did. Moving up in the world. You scored. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's talk tomatoes, Mike. Uh, people ask me all the time, why do I wear crazy shirts like this? Yeah. Right? Uh, because when I splatter the pasta and it gets all over me, nobody has you a clue oh, you can't that see it's it. all over me. Right? <laughs> I so, understand that. Yeah, so anyway, um, heirloom tomatoes have become yeah. very, very cool, haven't they? they Everybody's yes. into heirloom tomatoes. Do you know what a definition of an heirloom tomato is? I do not. Definition of an heirloom tomato is any uh, open pollinated tomato prior to 1945. Why is it 1945? I don't know. The end of World War II. Okay. All of our scientists who were working on bombs and chemicals, they then had to quickly move into uh, creating vegetables and tomatoes oh. to go back into Western and Eastern Europe to repopulate Western and Eastern Europe. They were starving over there. They had nothing. They had no gardens because it was a war time, right? Okay. So we had to work hard to get... Uh, fruits and vegetables over to Eastern and Western Europe. Wow. And that's when we started hybriding all these tomatoes so we could get them over there and feed the people, right? Okay, okay. So anyway, open, uh, open pollinated. A lot of these heirloom tomatoes date back to the czars of Russia. Uh, they date back to Thomas Jefferson. In, mm -hmm. in fact, the black Cherokee or the purple Cherokee uh, was a, a gift to Thomas Jefferson from the Cherokee Indians. Oh. So what we've done here, uh, I've just taken several of these tomatoes. I've sliced them up. I just put some tomatoes in right now so they're a little bit thicker. They haven't cooked all the way. Okay. And I, as we're cooking, I just mash them. Here's my ingredients right here. I've got Italian herbs and I got garlic in there. Yeah. And it has the olive oil in there as well. It's so easy because it's a paste, right? Yeah. I mean, and it smells phenomenal. So we've way. taken the pasta. Pasta is boiled. We're going to put it right in there. Ooh, okay. And we're going to mix this up. And this goes right on to our dish over there. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Now, you told me your wife is Italian. Oh, yes. So you, uh, you've learned over the years, I'm sure. Oh, she I mean, you're already amazing, you know, but... Maybe wifey. She knows how to cook. Here tips. we go. Let's okay. put it on over here. Woo! And then right at the end, here's what, gonna, here's what we're going to do. We're going to okay. take some fresh tomatoes and put right on top. Uh, if I had some basil, I'd put some basil on top. Okay. I clean the fork. Thank you. I'm like, I don't <laughs> I know if this fork. is usable. Okay. Just for you. So there you go. It's a very simple pasta dish yeah. with uh, fresh tomatoes, summer tomatoes. And please, no tomato abuse, people. Oh gosh. Keep them out of your refrigerator. Hard to eat, that's like a long, let me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I don't. That's good. I don't think I messed it up today. You nope. did not mess up today. Okay. I'm going back for more. Okay. Okay, can't be back to you. <laughs> Working out is great, but so.